Raghav, SME at the Gate Academy. In this video, we will solve a gate question from first law of thermodynamics. So, this was asked in gate 2015 in set 2 for 2 marks. And it's a very good question. And if you look at the question, it's something like this. Work is done on an adiabatic system due to which its velocity changes from 10 meter per second to 20 meter per second. Elevation increases by 20 meters and temperature increases by 1 Kelvin. The mass of the system is 1 kg. So CV is 100 joules per kg Kelvin and gravity, acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second square. If there is no change in any other components of energy of the system, the magnitudes of magnitude of total work done in kilojoules on the system is. So you give a system and there is some work done on the system adiabatically and there are some changes in elevation and there are some changes in velocities and there is some change in temperature and during this process so what is the amount of work that is done on the system he is asking us to get the value of work done on the system so we will try to solve this question so actually it is related to first law of thermodynamics for a closed system you make a habit of writing first law of thermodynamics for a closed system like this whenever you write first law of thermodynamics for a closed system it is so delta Q is so DE plus so delta W so this is first law of thermodynamics if we try to expand this E is energy of the system so this system may have two different types of energies one is microscopic form of energy and second one is microscopic form of energy macroscopic form of energies are nothing but the energies that you can see and the microscopic form of energies are the energies which are at intermolecular level we call that as internal energy this I write like this, so DE is nothing but, so change in kinetic energy, so change in potential energy, plus change in internal energy. These two form of forms of energies are macroscopic forms of energies, and this is a microscopic form of energy. And this statement, so goes like this, DQ is nothing but, so I am replacing DE with this statement, so change in kinetic energy, plus change in potential energy, plus change in internal energy. I replace this DE with this statement plus so this work interactions it indicates all the work interactions that are happening with the system there may be different work interactions so sometimes I can say so there may be some boundary work happening boundary work and apart from this boundary work so there may be some other works so like there is a stirrer and it's stirring so different forms of work I need to take all the work interactions into picture and I need to take all the heat interactions. So delta Q is nothing but all the heat interactions that are happening with the closed system and this delta W is nothing but all the work interactions that are happening with the system for that particular process. This is first law of thermodynamics by process and this is the most generalized equation. Okay. And when I subject this closed system to some constraints, if I assume the closed system is stationary, if I assume the system is stationary, stationary in the sense the system is not moving. So since it, it's not moving, so it doesn't have any velocity, so therefore there won't be any change in kinetic energy. And second thing is it's not moving. Since it's not moving, there won't be any change in elevation. Since there won't there, there, there is no change in elevation, so change in potential energy will also be zero. So if I make change in potential energy zero and change in kinetic energy zero, and if I assume there are no other forms of work interactions except boundary work, so this other works also become zero. So then the equation that gives us like this. So dq is so du plus so del w and the equation reduces to form something like this. So most of the students tries to write the first law of thermodynamics for a process like this. So but make a habit of writing first law of thermodynamics for a process like this. This is most generalized equation and if you subject this equation to some constraints you will get this equation. Okay and if you look at the question in the question he gave that there is some change in elevation, it means that there is some change in potential energy. He gave that there is some change in kinetic energy velocity, so there will be some change in kinetic energy. And there is some change in temperature and that will cause change in internal energy. And apart from that, he is asking us to find out the net work done on the system. So net work done on the system in the sense, he is asking you to find out, so what, uh, what is the total work interaction happening in the process. I can write like this. So net heat interaction is equal to so change in kinetic energy plus change in potential energy plus change in internal energy plus 
So the net heat interaction, work interaction that's happening. This entire term I'm writing it as delta W. So I'm expanding this term. So here he is saying that the process is an adiabatic process. Since the process is an adiabatic process, there won't be any heat interactions taking place between the system and surroundings. Since there are no heat interactions, delta Q will be zero. So then the equation reduces like this, zero. Change in kinetic energy, I'm writing like this. So this is half m. So V2 square minus V1 square plus. So change in potential energy is mg into, so change in elevation plus. So change in internal energy is mcv into change in temperature plus the work interaction. So here in the question, he is saying that, so mass of the system is some 10 kg and the velocity is, velocity increases from 10 meter per second to 20 meter per second. So this is 20 meter per second and this is 10 meter per second plus, so this is 10 kg, acceleration due to gravity is given as 10 and the change in elevation is given as 20 meters plus mass is 10 and CV is given as 100 joules per kg Kelvin into, so change in temperature is 1 Kelvin plus the work interaction. So if you simplify this, so if you simplify this, so you will get, so the net work interaction that happened and that comes out to be negative quantity, it is minus 4500 joules minus 4500 joules or I can write like this it's minus 4.5 kilojoules and the negative sign here indicates work is done on the system the negative sign here indicates work is done on the system and in this question he is asking the question is what is work done on the system he is asking that what is the work done on the system so there is no need to specify the sign since he is already saying what is work done on the system so just we have to say the answer is 4.5 kilojoules of work is done on the system. Most of the students get confused here whether to keep a positive value or negative value. If they ask what is work done by the system, then you have to keep a negative sign. So if he is directly asking in the question what is work done on the system, so there is no need to put this negative sign. Okay, thank you.